to run from Alcoholics Anonymous. Number 10, you have to do it over and over and over. 90 meetings in 90 days when you join up, and at least once a week after that. And while you're doing it, you have to pretend that these meetings are not excruciatingly boring. Number 9. You have to listen to Frank's Drunkalogue a hundred times. Hear him repeat it, word for word, over and over and over. You have to pretend that you're getting something out of it each time. In fact, you have to listen to all the old-timers, no matter how insane they are. And you can't point that out. Frank, you're out to fucking lunch. In fact, you can't say anything. You can't argue. You can't be logical. Hell, you can't even talk. Take the cotton out of your ears and put it in your mouth. Number eight. You have to develop <clears throat> relationships with people who are one of us. And stay away from normies who don't understand. No relationships for the first year. You should dump your current girlfriend or boyfriend because they're not good for you. They're not in recovery. Not one of us. Your family and friends will think you've gone Looney Tunes, but you'll insist that they just don't see the real truth. Number seven. You may lose your family and friends, but you gain a sponsor. You must do what your sponsor tells you, even if your sponsor is full of shit and you know it. You have to pretend that your sponsor has your best interest in mind. Fake it till you make it. Number six. You have to say that you're powerless. You are insane. And you have an unmanageable life. You have to believe that you are sick. And you will always be sick. There is no cure. The only alternative for you is jails, institutions, and death. You have to insist that this is really helping you. And furthermore, it's the only thing that can help you. And you will always need it, because you will always be an alcoholic. Number five. You have to turn a blind eye to 13th stepping. Even 13-year-olds. And to people being told not to take their medication, even if it kills them. You have to insist it doesn't happen. After all, people with all those years of sobriety must be spiritual, right? Take what you want and leave the rest. You have to focus on your own recovery. Number four. You have to accept that the big book and Bill Wilson are holy and infallible. When someone points out what is in the big book and what it actually says, you must deny that it exists. When someone points out that Bill Wilson was a pathological womanizer, fraudulent businessman, and con artist who begged for whiskey on his deathbed and left royalties from the big book to his mistress, you must deny that Bill Wilson ever existed. 3. You must always remember and understand that people who leave Alcoholics Anonymous and stay sober weren't really alcoholics anyway, or else they're on a dry drunk. If they die, which happens to alcoholics who leave, at least you can feel better about yourself. After all, they're dead and you're not. Two, you have to pretend to believe and vigorously defend the idea that AA is spiritual, not religious. If this bothers you, you can humbly ask God to remove your shortcomings. The Supreme Court has said it's religious, but AA knows better. You must deny that the Supreme Court exists. Number one. You have to believe that in order to stay sober, you must recruit fresh blood into Alcoholics Anonymous. You must also deny that you are recruiting people. It's a program of attraction, not promotion, even if the big book says you must carry the message to other alcoholics. In time, the new recruits will learn to den deny all these things, too. The real number one reason for running from Alcoholics Anonymous is it doesn't work. This video does not intend to discourage anyone from getting help for a problem with addiction. 
we do encourage you to explore your options and to get more than one opinion. AAers will tell you that a spiritual experience with Alcoholics Anonymous is the only thing that works. But in fact, Alcoholics Anonymous has a 0% effectiveness rate. A mind is a terrible thing to waste. Don't pollute it with bullshit.